everyone. I'm going to do some reviews on some products that I've used on my hair. I am completely, I always like lotions and hair things and products that I really like. And I'm always the one to go get the new stuff. So I wanted to um, show you some of the stuff that I've tried and tell you kind of what I feel. So that if you guys need to find something in a hurry, maybe there's something that you would like. Now I am going to start with the stuff that I love because, and I'll show you the reason why and I'll give you the explain, okay. So I love this stuff, it's Tea Tree, it's by Solutions and it's by Great Clips. I've used this for a long time. I had really short hair and I overwashed my hair and when I overwashed my hair, um, it got really, really bad. It felt like I had a sunburn on my hair or on my scalp and it hurt really, really bad. So I went into the doctor and the doctor said, yeah, you overwashed your hair. So I went to Great Clips where I got my hair cut before. I, I go to Fantastic Sam's too, but I went to Great Clips and I said, hey, because I had a friend that worked there. I said, hey, can you tell me what? And she said, use this. It has been awesome. Now with the, um everything shut down and stuff like that, I was running low on this. So now I'm going to explain what this is. This is Tea Tree um, by Great Clips and it's amazing. So it comes in here and then it has the the conditioner also. And in this bottle it has, it says a blend of tea tree and peppermint oils will refresh and stimulate your scalp by providing gentle cleansing for all hair types. This is for all hair types. Okay, so then um, I usually use this every day, and then I use this once a week, which I absolutely love, this. It's the Clarifying Shampoo by Solutions. This here, it says, Clarifying Shampoo lifts away um, dulling, buildup, chlorine, or material deposits into the body and shine, and they're unresponsive hair. Yeah, unresponsive. So it says to leave in for three minutes. I've noticed a huge change when even putting on any type of um, shampoo. Usually when you put shampoo, sometimes it won't lather up very much because it's got the buildup in there and then usually that's the bad thing. You put this on and then you put this on or, you, you know, that's what I do. It lathers so much easier so you know that the buildup is finally off your hair. Now... I'm going to tell you, I love this. Now, with this whole COVID thing, I was almost out of this stuff. And I was out of this. So I was like, oh my goodness. So I went to, I went and obviously all the hair styles places are closed. So I went to Amazon. They did, now they do have this on Amazon, which they also have the conditioner in the shampoo. However, this is my however, however, I don't know if this is completely 100% what it is because I put on these, okay, which I have a little bit left, thank goodness, um, and I put, I use this. I can tell a difference in my scalp which this here says, okay, I'll get the shampoo. It says the shampoo with the blend of tea tree and peppermint oils would stimulate the scalp with providing gentle cleansing, okay? And you can see, here's what it looks like, okay? It has, and here's the, the stuff. Which I want to show you. Looks the same. But I don't know if I can necessarily say it is the same. Because this. This stuff here. The, has a different smell than this. Um, if you were to never ever try the tea tree oils. Which they say these are supposed to be the same. Okay. There's a little bit of a smell difference um, in this. So I would say they are not the same. This has more of a concentrate of you can smell the peppermint oils and you can smell 
all of that. I wish you had smell vision because you would be able... And I use this for almost two years, so I would know what it is. This, it has less peppermint oil smell, and you can just tell something is off. It still will clean your hair, it will still do everything, but if you, if they say that it's the same, which they are saying that it's the same, I don't think it is. Same thing with the, with the, um, see how it's got the creamy, it looks, it looks exactly like the conditioner and, and things like that, it's the same kind of thing, but... I've used it for a long time, and I can just tell a difference even between my hair itself um, from it. My hair is a lot more, a lot more um, soft and smooth when I use this than when I use this. So I know for a fact there's a difference between it. So um, be very careful when you're buying stuff on Amazon because yes it said that it's from Solutions. see it says everything's the same it has everything the same but why would my hair react to this different than this so I can't wait until the um, salons open up again but this also I've noticed a difference in the smell also it has a little bit of a different smell and it says that it's from Solutions and everything, but I would be very careful um, because I don't know about that too much. Also, I use this from Solutions, which I absolutely love. It is a leave-in conditioner. It's lightweight detangler. Um, I use this, but I noticed that if I put a lot of this on, my hair with using this, because this also came from... Uh, Amazon because I needed it so when I when the salons open I will get some salon stuff but because I want to make sure that it's completely I can tell a difference between using this and using um, the stuff that I actually get at the salon so just to let you know um, and like I said I'm not a salon person I have no no nothing I'm just telling you the experience of what I have been having with these products so, just to let you know about that. Um, I also want to show you a couple different things that I use. I use this leave-in conditioner also. This came from the, it's the Walmart, um, in Walmart they have the, the actual hair cutting thing. I get it here. I like this more than I like this. So, this here is a little bit more lighter weight. This is called Normal Care Leave-In Conditioner. It is Design, I think. D-I-S-I-G-N-L-I-N-E. So Design? I don't know. Anyway, I use that. Um, they also have a thermal spray in this. I use the thermal spray. I did, I also use the Paul Mitchell. Um, it's called Hop Off the Press, so I use both of these. For when I use the hot iron or anything on my hair. I am completely 100% a nut when it comes to hair products. As you can see. And face products. Which I will do that too. I also use this. Um, is what I use. Matrix. I absolutely love it. It is hairspray. It is for awesome high performance. It says firm hold. I'm telling you, it firm holds and it doesn't go anywhere. You gotta try it. It doesn't ruin your hair. It doesn't um, make your hair kind of feel kind of uh. So I like that on that type of thing. Also, I did because I wanted to try some new products that I have not seen. Um, I did try this. It's called Husk. H-A-S-K. It's coconut milk and organic honey. It's curl... It's for curls. Here is the shampoo. Um, it's going to be backwards because of my camera. So it says quenches and controls frizz, free of sulfates and parabenes, uh, hydrates, and it helps with the curl. So I use that. And then I use the shampoo and conditioner. The conditioner is um, curl conditioner. It's sulfate. 
when using this, I also used, I also bought their, their, um, keratin. It's keratin protein 5-in leave-in spray conditioner. Honestly, my hair felt, um, frizzy. It felt not quenched. It felt like it was, um, like really, really fine. Because I have a little bit of fine hair. It felt like it was um, dry and I didn't really like it at all. So just to let you know that. It also made my hair feel um, weighed down. So I don't know. Usually when you have paraben free and you have all uh, fragrance free stuff, sometimes it can be a good thing. Sometimes it can't be. I have tried a lot of different things. This here, the keratine. I thought it would be more um, better because I got some at Fantastic Sam's before that was the keratin stuff that it made my hair like awesome which I'm going to go get more and I'll do a review on this. I'm going to do some reviews on some different um, stuff also just to let you know too. So keep looking because I am going to be start doing a lot of reviews. So if you want uh, to know, this is sulfate free, it's cr cruelty free. This says that it uh, smooths away where does it say? Smooths and controls frizz, frizz, provides thermal protection, hydrates and softens, detangles, and it helps with breakage, and it boosts the shines. Smooth strands with the keratin conditioning. I didn't see anything to this from this at all, and them are the same, or... Um, the one here, this is a leave-in, they're all leave-in conditioners, I like to try a whole bunch of them, and honestly, completely, this is my favorite, so far, and I have, I try a lot, and just to let you know too, on these ones here from the Amazon, usually in the store for these, um, but it was just like this, it was just like this one, a bottle about this big, was probably eleven ninety nine. This one shows that when I had it, it was eleven ninety nine in this store. I paid fifteen dollars for this. Same thing with this. I paid fifteen dollars for this because I needed some and I wanted to try it out. And I would say it's not worth it. I would say wait until unless you absolutely need it and you think you want to try it. Go ahead, try it. Okay, another thing that I use on a regular basis is in the shower hot oil treatments in your hair. When I hurt my hair and when my hair was really bad and it, the scalp burnt, it actually burnt because I overwashed your hair because you can overwash your hair. So be careful ladies, gentlemen, you can overwash your hair. It feels like a um, like you got a sunburn in your hair and it looks kind of um, like you have a sunburn in your hair either. Or either so so what they said to do is um, I'll put this medicine and I use the medicine for the doctor and it did not work the thing that worked was this what I did is I broke up all my stuff here and I just laid a hot oil and I left it on for 10 minutes and then I washed my hair and I used the tea tree oil from um, great clips and then I put this on it, and it within a while, probably within a day or two, I could feel a difference. But it did take about mm, two months to actually get it under control because it was that bad. Like, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't do anything. It was bad. So this is the leave-in conditioner. This here is what it says. It says to use before you um, shampoo, wet your hair, squeeze this in here. Um, you use a fourth of a container, so you use two, this is for two times. Really, honestly, I use, I use, um, this like three or four times, so it depends on how much you want for your hair, and if you have long or short hair, so that's a good thing. I've also tried this, um, treatment mask. This is called Morcan, M-O-R-A-C-C-A-N, Gold Series Treatment Mask. Um, and this also has the pure macaron organ, organ oil, O-R-G-A-N oil. 
and you put it on. It smells so good. Mm. And it's a little bit, it smells good, but it smells like a salon. So it can get a little bit, you know, in your throat, but it does smell good. And what you do is you leave this on your hair. I noticed that if you have really, really dry hair, this would be great for you. I don't have really, really dry hair because I use a bunch of different stuff. So it can be a little bit um, oily at times. And I can, I'll show you what I also do with my for oily hair. This here, again, is good if you have dry hair. But when I used it, it made my hair more oily. So just to let you know. And this here came from... Um, something that I did online. It was one of them boxes that you get online um, that you see on Facebook a lot. So, And I don't know. And if if you needed to, you can go to M-O-R-O-C-C-A-N Gold G-O-L-D Series C or S-E-R-I-E-S dot -E com and you can get that. Um, this you can get. These here you can get at Walmart. These came from the places at the Walmart Great Clips things, so you can do that. I also went to um, a beauty place in town, and I tried these. It is the Generic Tea Tree. It's called Generic. That's the brand. It's called Generic uh, Value Products. I got this at um, one of the places in town, and it's Paul. It's the Paul Mitchell. Now, I went in and asked them, and I said, hey, can you tell me what is um, a good tea tree oil base? Because, number one, bugs don't like tea tree oil. And, number two, it actually the um, wood ticks and stuff, I've had been using tea tree for a long time, and I don't get wood ticks at all. So, I asked them, I said, hey, what's the best thing? They said, oh, this generic Paul Mitchell this Paul Mitchell, it says, leaves hair soft and manageable. It cleans hair, scalps, and, and does all the scalp situations. Um, and it says, the generic ingredient comparison. It gives you the Paul Mitchell, what's in Paul Mitchell. It gives you what's in this tea tree oil um, here. And it's almost the same. There's some different things that are here. It says, the generic value products was formulated for a group of experienced chemists, chemist, marketing people know that they could produce popular prices and protect or product as good as the higher price quality name brands. So that's what it's for. Now, I, she said, oh, everybody loves this, everybody loves it. I personally did not like it. Now, don't shoot me down. But I didn't like it. My skin, If your scalp is sensitive, as mine is because of all the stuff I have I've did as a kid of dyeing my hair, which I shouldn't have no business doing, I ruined my scalp over washing it, keeping it short, things like that. Um, that's where I had a problem with this. It, my, it says it purifies your scalp. It does everything for your scalp. But I think there's a lot of product in here that's not organic. It's not um, good for your scalp if you have... Now, now, please remember, this is what I feel. A lot of other people have issues that, that they like. This is my review. This is how I feel. So I don't want to get the hate messages because you, you use uh, the organic stuff or any of the other stuff that I used. But this here, because I have a, I have oily hair, I have the different things, this here was a little bit much for me, um, because it was, if you look, that's a lot of product right there. That's a lot of things that are in, in this product. So always remember when looking at different things, the less that's in here, the better it's going to be because it's a little bit more organic and I'll explain that too. I also went there and I got this thinking that this would be good. Um, and I'll, and this here is coconut oil. It says anti-breakage sulfate free shampoo, shampoo and conditioner. This is what it's called. It's called P-R-O 
C L A I M, proclaim. Um, this also came from um, a beauty shop in the area. It's, uh, where did I get this at? It's a, I'll have to look it up, but um, the beauty shop in the area here that they go and they have a bunch of different stuff that you can buy and stuff like that. Uh, Sally's, that's what it is. I got these at Sally's. Um, and I asked the lady, I was like, hey, I have a sensitive scalp, can you bring me? And first she bring me this, I bought it, and I'm like, um, that's not going to work. So then I went in here and got the Proclaim, and because this one says coconut oil, anti-breakage, anti sulfate-free, shampoo is uniquely formulated with coconut oil, vitamins, hydron hydronas, silk, to nourish weak hair, coconut oil acts as a barrier to protect against the damaged hair and free radicals. Gently cleanses and smooths and moisturizes. Well, I used this and my hair felt like I was a scarecrow. Now, because of, I don't know if it's because of, I know it's not because of it's sulfate free and everything like that because I have used sulfate free stuff. A lot and I always buy different stuff just to try it out and to do different things so I know it's not that but it felt like a scarecrow so I'm not sure and look at how much is in they say it's sulfate free and all that but look at how much is from from right here the ingredients all the way down that's the ingredient list so that's just something to do, but I did feel like a scarecrow, and it did, it says the same thing, the coconut oil, it says cocoa, there's coconut oil, uh, it says it, oh, it acts as a natural barrier, and then also too, just to let you know, when I did put this on my skin, um, it felt weird, but when I put it in my hair, you can feel the coconut oil, um, it was gross, and it just feel, it felt like not what it should have been. It didn't feel like a, a really good shampoo or conditioner that would go um, and actually get into your hair. It felt like it was, yes, it was a barrier. So if you like that kind of thing, I guess it's okay. But I personally, when I put it on my hair, um, it felt weird. And it's like, you know, when you take your hair down and you kind of do this and you play with it and you do whatever. I could feel a a a coconutty um, weird feeling on my skin every time I touched my hair and and so it was too much of coconutty. It's like it's like I took a big pile of coconut oil and I just slashed it on my hair and let it go. But the weird thing was, is coconut oil supposed to be an antioxidant? It's supposed to help with making it soft. But my hair felt like I was a scarecrow, so it was it was a, a weird sensation to where I actually got up after I washed my hair and it dried to check and make sure that I liked it and whatever. I went and bought the Paul Mitchell right away because I didn't like that. Then, and I'm telling you, I drove to town to get from this to get this because I did not like at all. Um, the product at all and I did not like the Paul Mitchell so then I went up to town again and I got this and it did not work at all so I um, waited and bought this stuff on Amazon and it's not the best but it's gonna have to do um, and I do have a little bit of this left so um, like I said, this would be my top prior, my top one that I liked the most is this one. My second would be this. I'm not saying they're 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 not the same product. I'm just stating that there's a little bit of a smell difference between this one and this one. It says that it has the same thing in it. Now, last night when I washed my hair, I did use this. And I used the shampoo and the conditioner, and I liked it a lot more than when I used the the spray, um, this stuff here with the spray. So, I'm just saying that there's a little bit of a difference in the smell. So, just to let you know. 
And then before I wrap this up, I'm going to tell you I have a little bit of oily hair. The oily hair is um, really, really, really can be crazy. But if you are um, in a pinch and you need something, you can put a little bit of flour in your hand and kind of do this and then do this if you do not have this. These are my go-tos. Um, any any kind of brand works. I like the Dove brand. Um, I use the Dove brand constantly. I've never had an issue with it and I have really sensitive skin and really sensitive scalp. This one here, it is for days when washing is not a part of the plan but you want beautiful hair, you can use this. This one is volume and fullness. Um, I've tried all of them and I wanted to try this one. I don't see any difference between the volume and anything. My one that I like the most is this one. This one is the Detox and Purify. The Detox and Purify, it says freshens your hair and absorbs the oil with no visible residue. Um, perfect for refreshing your hair between washes. I like this one, but I will do whatever if they're on sale and one's bigger than the other, obviously. I will go with the bigger one because I like it, but I do like the, the detoxify one. Now, I did get a hair up my, my bottom, and I did try Not Your Mother's. This one here, it has the, um, it's tinted. It has the tinted brown. They have tinted brown, black. They have a bunch of different tinted ones. I would never, ever, 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 ever recommend you to do this. One is, if you look, see if I can, you can see the tint on it. When spraying your tinted hair, you're spraying back yonder. So all of this stuff was brown and sprayed. Not only that, when you're spraying and you get going and you're spraying... Um, your brushes get tinted. Not only that, when you're using your hands, you're doing this, your hands are tinted brown. Not only that, when you got your hair in a, a little scrunchy thing, your hair scrunchies brown. When you, um, when you are taking your hair out for the night, you have to wash your hair because your pillows turn brown. Everything is brown, brown, brown if you don't care about that. Go ahead and do it. I personally don't want to wash my hair every single night sometimes. Um, and and uh, it was bad. Like I said, it this whole thing here was covered. I had to take a wet one. And I didn't realize that. The smell is good, but it says here, Intend your style and great day with one hair on one day or two or three. Refresh hair while instantly absorbing oil and order. No water is required. No white residue. No time washed for light or dark brown hair. This here will make a residue if you have it close to your skin. If you have it far away and you're not like using a ton of it, it is perfectly fine. It's going to give you a little bit of a residue maybe, but I've never, I've had, like if you're going to go and it's going to be like a lot, yeah, you're going to have a lot of residue. This, I would rather have a white residue than this brown residue when, um, you know, it's, it's a mess. It is a complete mess. And there's no way you could one day, yes, if you're going to use it, um, you're outside and you use it or something so your whole, wherever you're at doesn't turn brown or your face or anything like that. I've had it where I had, like, right here was brown. Um, it was a nightmare, but there's no way you can go two or three days because your pillow would turn brown Totally brown and I'll show you See so when it smells really good though, but when you go like this It looks like you have dirt on your hands and you cannot get that dirt off and then not only that too, when you're doing this and you're styling your hair, I'm going to tell you when you're styling your hair and you're doing this, you're getting this stuff on your skin. And then when you go and you, like I didn't even realize, I was like, oh yeah, okay, it looks perfect. And then I went to go touch my, my stuff and I had this on there 
and it got all over and it got all over my skin which I didn't realize at the time and I'm going like this and I'm trying and it gets stuck in your pores and it gets all it's it's a mess so I wouldn't recommend this at all so there's what I kind of use um, on my on my hair I will do some more I have a lot more stuff that I have that I use and I use these a lot but on the daily on the daily all the time I can say the Dove is amazing and I can say that the tea tree oil from and these from um, Great Clips are amazing if you have really 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 damaged hair or if you have really sensitive scalp um, and also to the reason why I used the purifying shampoo from Great Clips, not from Amazon, but from Great Clips. Um, it also takes the stuff off of your scalp, so then when you go and you put tea tree on it or, you know, stuff like that, it helps your scalp. And it has, because I can finally do put, put stuff in. I could never, ever, ever put these in my hair without, um, almost in tears because it hurts so bad. So there is that. I will come back with some, um, I'm going to do another video here after this that is going to tell you some of the stuff that I use on my face also. So stay tuned to that. Have a great and fantastic day or night wherever you're at. God bless you and see you soon.